Hi. Today I'm going to talk about something that is absolutely critical for you. That is meetings. First thing first, how do you know that you should have a meeting? How to make your meetings effective? Do you really want to have a meeting? Ask these three questions yourself. Number one, does this meeting require feedback from the people involved? Or is it just information? If you need feedback, is the meeting the best way to gather the feedback? Would a meeting provide insight that messaging or emailing wouldn't? If the answer to about questions is no, do not schedule your next meeting. The answer is yes, let me guide you to run that meeting as best as possible. Steve Jobs' three-point formula for conducting effective meetings was fabulous. Most of us chronically suffer from too many meetings or too poor meetings. And we complain we do not have enough time to do the work. Work is our topmost priority, period. The meetings should support us to do our work. When it's not the case, it drains our energy, time, and therefore productivity. HBR reported that quite often the management is buried with too many meetings. There are a lot of contributing factors for this mess. However, that's one significant management trap. Management believes that meeting is the only way to get the work done, gathering everyone around them, asking them to think in groups. Trust me, that's not the only way for you to be effective as a team, as an organization. Steve Jobs had a solution for this problem, meetings. He introduced three-point formula for conducting effective meetings. Let me help you to understand what this three-point formula is all about. Number one, keep the invite list short. Maximum three to five people per meeting. Here is the reasoning. More people it is, less productive your meeting is. Too many opinions become just a noise. And most often, many people involved in a meeting really don't get involved in the discussion. My recommendation is that handpick people. If someone is not going to contribute to any given meeting, cut them off. Tip number two. Keep the agenda as short as possible. Ideally, no more than two to three items in your agenda. The goal here is focus, focus, focus. I generally recommend just few things to be sorted in a given meeting. If you try to solve many things, you most likely end up in a rabbit hole where you will be lost with a lot of unrelated discussion points. Keep it short, focus on one meeting goal. Number three, keep the meeting length no more than 30 minutes to 55 minutes. Steve Jobs says, Limited to 30 minutes, Google says no more than 55 minutes. Science proves that human has very short attention span. One report says that human has attention shorter than the attention of a goldfish. Our mental stamina is unable to sustain a discussion uh, an analytical discussion for a longer duration. Keep your meeting short so that 
your focus and your attention is optimal during your meeting time. My recommendation is short it is, better it is. All in all, three tips that I recommend you follow for your next meeting. Number one, limit your attendee list. Keep the people involved between three to five maximum. Number two, keep the agenda short. No more than two to three agenda items in your list. Number three, keep the meeting length short. No more than 30 minutes. And I'm sure your next meeting is gonna be the best meeting. See you soon.